What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the movie rewatch. I have been rewatching Marvel movies. I've already done X Men 2000, Ang Lee's Hulk from 2003, and continuing in that fashion, I went ahead and watched 2003's X2. And this movie did a lot for superhero movies. You know, like a lot of people didn't like the black suits, but just, you know, having a team up of superheroes with, you know, like all these heroes together in a collaborative format like this movie the in the movie i'm talking about next 2005's fantastic four might not be my favorite movies might not even be the best movies but they did a lot for the superhero genre in that you know the black leather might not have been the best look now but in the 2000s people ate it up you know and and i definitely ate it up as a kid now that i look back i'm like oh look at them all in their leather jumpsuits they're all so cute. <laughs> I really like this movie. Brian Cox is William Stryker is inspired casting. There's the one part where um, Mystique slides underneath the, the door. Or the door is closing and, and she is Stryker because she's a morph so she can look like anyone she wants. Kind of like Secret Invasion. She's kind of like a scroll. So she could transform her figure to look however she wants. So she's looking like Brian Cox, but Brian Cox has to pretend he's a woman. So like the door's closing and he's like, mm, and he like waves. He does this like little cute little wave like Mystique would. And I always loved that little part, like just always made me chuckle. But this movie, you know, is the second of many movies where we see Mr. Hugh Jackman play Wolverine. And this second photo, you know, the first photo with the snow covered is from the first movie. Eh, you know, I really love, that's where I fell in love with Wolverine. But this second movie, where the hair's curled, like the comic books, it, it just, that specific image right there is the Wolverine I truly remember. And, and like how I picture Wolverine looking with the mutton chops and you know what I mean like the the not really mustache but has the pointy hair still the next two images of Logan in in the Wolverine movie still badass movies those are probably my favorite of the the Hugh Jackman Wolverine character but hey you know the claws were out and the claws were heavy and Hugh Jackman's got that Argh! he just has that right grunt and I really like this movie you know, it's not my favorite movie of all time, but it definitely is a movie I look back from my childhood with fond memories. And, uh, you know, out of five stars, this one, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to give it less stars than X-Men 1. I'm like, did I like it more? Did I like it less? I think I like it slightly less. I gave X-Men 1 four stars. This movie gets three and a half out of five stars. And it is what it is, you know? And, um... I'm I'm really enjoying ever since these images came out the other day of Mr. Deadpool and Wolverine. They look great next to each other, but the first time I saw them together was this poor image from, <laughs> from poor Ryan Reynolds in this image. They sewed his mouth shut. They just they really did Deadpool wrong in this in X Men Origin Wolverines, especially you know at the time I didn't know who Deadpool was. I didn't even know comic books were a thing. All I knew was Wolverine as, was Hugh Jackman, and I liked him. You know, all these years later, I have comic book knowledge and stuff like that, but, and, and I know that this is poor, but at the time being, I was like, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm watching, but I don't know if I like it. You know, all, all I'm saying is, it was entertaining, the movie, but it wasn't a good movie. And uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine, when I get to that in the rewatch, I really like, I, I, movies that I liked when I was a kid with kid eyeballs and I go back and watch with adult eyeballs, it's just a whole different story. It's really, it's really hard. It's, it's sad sometimes. You're like, uh, really? This is what I'm, uh, I like this at one point? Oh, God. Like, the Fantastic Four movie that I'll be talking about next. Whew, that movie, definitely not as good as I remember, but, hey, it is what it is. We'll see what I gave that score. <laughs> um, and considering that is still my probably my favorite Fantastic Four, considering there's only been what three movies, not including the crappy '90s one, you know, like the uh, the Fantastic Four with Chris Evans and the Fantastic Four with Michael Miles Turner. I think I I dislike that one even more. So we'll get to that one next. But but comment below. Did you like X2? Was this one of your favorite movies growing up as a kid like me? And at the very least, you gotta at least say 
for superhero team up movies, this and the Fantastic Four movie, they walked so that the Avengers could run. You know, they they started out with the, with these groups and they didn't do that great. But now we have these great movie ensembles like X Men or uh, like Avengers One and Avengers End Game. You know, like all that stuff starts here. You know, like we don't get those things without this stuff being bad first. You know what I'm saying? Like that's all I'm trying to say. But comment below if you like this video and and you're enjoying this Marvel rewatch and if you're doing the Marvel rewatch yourself. Uh, you know, just with all this Deadpool and, and all this news coming out, it's been really making me dive into these X-Men movies and I've been really enjoying going back and watching all of them. Considering there's a bunch of them, you know, I'm going to have to go through and watch goddamn a bunch of them, you know, First Class, Apocalypse, Days of Future Past, The Last Stand is up next, so that one's, you know, I have fond memories of that movie, but I haven't seen it since I was a kid, so that movie might not hold up the test of time, we'll see, so stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys, peace.